So who am I to listen to that makes the kind of music that you do? Man, I'm not going to lie. I think uh, right now, Bino is actually a big influence for me right now. Um, and also Blast. So I was saying, I keep uh, repeating their names because I feel like they kind of represent um, what I'm trying to go for right now and what really suits me. Um, but man, I can't even, you can go on TikTok, I can go on all the social medias, can't even lie, like, People will start saying like blast. If you go on Blast's profile, stuff like that, they always say like there's not one bad blast song. So okay, I'll take yeah. that. I'll take that. <laughs> All right, man. Um, have you done any shows this year? Nah, man. I need to start getting into it. A lot of my team split up uh, a couple years ago. They all a lot of them moved to LA and a lot of them doing their own thing right now. But hey, no hey, it's all love towards them for sure. Okay, for sure, for sure. Uh, do you write your music and produce it, or do you outsource? Um, so writing, yeah, I do all my writing, uh, but like engineering stuff, I do have an engineer for that. Um, beats and everything like producers, I reach out to them. Um, I used to do the producing and stuff, but, uh, just got too, I got too busy, man. So I just be writing a lot of that. Uh, a lot of my creative thoughts and everything goes to writing. So. Okay. Okay. I know you had, uh, tripped on me one time cause your page got hacked and they were sending me the damn <laughs> cash app and shit. I had to block that thing, man. So I just want to apologize. My bad. Dog, no, it's all like, good, man. man. <laughs> the hell's going on, homie? Nah, all, all right, good. man. So what's something that motivates you to keep doing music? Um, definitely my supporters. I don't even be liking them call, you know, calling fans and stuff like that. I don't know why it's just, it's not my forte. I really fuck with, you know, saying supporters cause Whoever's supporting me, I support them. I'm not going to be one of those artists, you know, once I make it to the top, top. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like I'm not going to support them because, you know, I got big out of nowhere. It's like you support me, I support you. You respect me, I respect you type shit. So I feel like it's really my supporters that are, you know, keeping me going. You know, DMs on Instagram, DMs on Twitter, you know, TikTok. Um, every time, I, you know, I drop a song, they're like, keep going, keep going, man. I can't. I don't know why you're not famous yet, stuff like that. So I think it's, it's really stuff like that. But yeah, how do you get so many followers, bro? Like I always be looking at your numbers, like, bro, yeah. is this fool buying? Is he buying followers, or is oh, he people love him? But I be seeing so many comments to match. I yeah. can't say that's there, dog. Man, a couple of years ago, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. So I used to have a we used to call, it, I guess, a friendager, right? So basically a manager, but like a friend. He was doing all that stuff. He was a uh, he was managing a lot of our accounts, a lot of me and my team's accounts. Um, so I don't know what was going on over there, but I know a lot of our followers came from, uh, touring, um, up and down. So basically like from NorCal to SoCal. So, you know, right before, like we did our shows and stuff like that, we always shouted our Instagrams, out, our social medias out right before we started the show. Like we made sure that they was following us, man. So they, they was really fucking with us. A lot of people be, uh, be stubborn, man. So you got to do what you got to do.